Madam Chairman, I move to strike the last word. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I'm not going to repeat — I'm not going to repeat all of what has been said about the Republican war on women, about the fact that the Republican majority was elected pledging jobs, and all we see is a war on various social services and women and nothing about jobs. But I am going to say this. I've been listening very carefully to the supporters of this amendment, to Mr. Pence and others. And what do I hear? I hear that we must punish Planned Parenthood by defunding them because they have committed a number of sins. Sin number one, they perform abortions. They're a very large abortion provider. And even though none of those abortions are paid for with federal funds, that would be — that's prohibited under the Hyde Amendment, however you — however you read it, we don't like Planned Parenthood because they're a large abortion — abortion provider. Number two, we don't like Planned Parenthood because they've committed allegedly various terrible things. Some provocateurs went into their offices and — and — and said that they were representing sex workers, and they were offered services, and any organization that's willing to do this should not get federal funds. We are going to punish Planned Parenthood, number one, because they're a large abortion provider, and we don't like abortion providers. Number two, because they do other things, which if in fact they do, which I don't think they do, but if in fact they do, are bad things. There's a major problem with this. There's a major problem with this rhetoric and with this reasoning. And by the way, the CR, of which this is an amendment — to which this is an amendment, eliminates Title X family planning funding anyway. So it eliminates most of the funds — federal funds that go to Planned Parenthood. But whatever funds are available, they can go to other people to provide those services, not Planned Parenthood, because we don't like Planned Parenthood for various reasons. A bill that punishes someone, some person or organization who is named or easily identifiable by legislative action is called a bill of attainder. That's the definition of a bill of attainder. A legislative punishment directed — a legislative penalty, a legislative enacted penalty, in this case, no funding, directed at some identifiable person or organization to punish them for something. Article 1, Section 9 says, no bill of attainder or ex post facto law shall be passed. Fundamental foundation constitutional law. If Planned Parenthood or anybody else is doing terrible things and ought to be punished, that's up to the courts. If indeed Planned Parenthood is trafficking with sex traffickers, let them be prosecuted. If indeed Planned Parenthood is doing anything illegal, let them be prosecuted. Let the organization be prosecuted. Let the individuals, employees who are doing these terrible things be prosecuted. That law, that's our system. But you don't punish an organization because they are doing something of which you don't approve. Now, if you want to say, we don't think that there ought to be any contraceptive services in the United States, and therefore we're going to have no Title X funding, the CR does says that. I don't agree with it, but it's constitutional. But to say that if we have Title X funding, if we have maternal services funding, none of it can go to Planned Parenthood, they can go to somebody else, but not Planned Parenthood, that's a legislatively enacted punishment because Planned Parenthood is, or is allegedly, doing things of which you don't approve. Now, I heard a lot at the beginning of this Congress about how we have to make sure that we adhere to the Constitution. This is a bill of attainder because it is a legislatively enacted punishment of a named organization because that organization is doing things, or is allegedly doing things, of which we don't approve. So I submit that in addition to all the other reasons why this shouldn't be done that have been enacted here, this is flatly unconstitutional, and I challenge anyone to say how this is not a bill of attainder. And again, the standard, the black letter definition of a bill of attainder is a legislatively enacted penalty aimed at someone, uh, some person or organization that's identifiable, named right here, for some reason that they've done various things, provided abortions, done illegal things or otherwise. So in addition to all its other problems, this amendment is unconstitutional and will be struck down by the courts if it should pass. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The committee will rise informally.